What's up, beauty gang? I know it's been a while for a video. Um, so yesterday, oh, also I got a new phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy 10 Plus S or S Plus 10 or whatever. I don't know. I don't normally keep up on phones. My eyes are going down, so you know what that means. My regimen I've been doing is I've been taking the Allegra at um, night, and I started taking the Claritin during the day. But, guys, I'm just so unhappy. I am sitting here at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm just so unhappy because yesterday I had my procedure. And there's music in the background, but I don't own rights to any music in the background. I hope YouTube does not ping me on this. Um, so, yeah, I had my procedure yesterday. And I always tell my doctor, like, please don't tell me when you're going to stick me. Please do not tell me when you're going to stick me. I don't know what was going through his mind yesterday. So he automatically tells me when he sticks me. I jump. So I jump. You know what I'm saying? I jump. So I have to get stuck again. Then for the second inject the second injection, he tells me. Again, he tells me again, you know, that he's about to stick me. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, why'd you tell me? So I got stuck two additional times on top of being stuck the additional time. I'm just, like, terrified of needles. My back has been killing me. I have been self-medicating. I'm making myself get up, walk around, try to work out some of this pain um walk it out it's like a cramping when i walk and sit and stuff because they did take the needle and inject the medicine um take the needle through my spine and inject the medicine that way so yeah i hope that uh, um <clears throat> i hope that you know it doesn't affect me. I'm probably going to have to... I'm out and about. I'm probably going to have to really record when I leave out of here because this music that's playing in the background, I don't know who's it by, if it's copyrighted or stuff like that. And I don't really want to get flagged by it. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm out here looking a hot mess. Eyes is going down though. I think it's almost time to put those lashes back on and do some type of video for you guys. I just, I don't know, guys. I'm just feeling really horrible. I really hate needles and I, I just, I don't know about me jerking because it, it doesn't normally hurt past the day of the procedure. So. I'm kind of um, worried um, at this point. It just normally doesn't hurt past the day of the procedure. So I'm out here walking and stuff like that, trying to see if I can walk it out and walk through it. Uh, I don't know, it's weird. I'll see you guys in a minute. I got a few stops out here. But yeah, Cheesecake Factory. Eating enchiladas and fish. I've been craving cheesecake, but I'll probably take that home. Because I'm not going to be able to eat all this food. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. What's up, my beauty? I don't know what happened. 
it cut off i'm still learning this camera but real talk i am gonna beat the shit of them out of them so what i'm going to do now i'm on my way to the house um yeah guys i'm just really not feeling well my back is cramping up so bad where they did the epidural injection at and in the top part i'm supposed to braid some hair today i don't know if i'm gonna knock it out knock it out or if i'm gonna just keep on i might knock it out if my dad brings girlfriend brings her grandbaby over i'm gonna just knock it out because little baby need her hair done and plus it's hot like summer is supposed to be carefree like so I'm just kind of like looking around um, looking around paying attention to traffic and stuff like that because mother efforts can't drive ever since the rain and the you know the tornado tragedy people just really been on one when it comes to driving I got me a little cheesecake to go so I'm gonna go home <laughs> y'all know what that means and eat it later i'm way too um full and not in the mood to eat it now yeah and i'm talking about man i was carrying this bag i had got five candles i ended up getting my cousin one i'm dropping that off to her now and she got her a little um, turtle cheesecake or whatever. Because, I mean, who don't love cheesecake? I think my birthday cake, I'm going to just go ahead and order me a, a, a whole cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Because, like, I don't know. I want to do something, though. Like, it's my 32nd birthday. I haven't really been doing some stuff for a couple of years. I don't know if I want to just, like, go get a room and, like, go out of town for a little bit. Maybe I'll go to Nap or something like that or my surrounding areas. I don't know. Just, I need to go. I need to get away from here for a little while. I need to live my life. Have a little fun. I be thinking I could sing, y'all. Don't hate the game. Hate the player. Oh, shit. I said that backwards. <laughs> Don't hate the player. Hate the game. And this is the first time I've been in this park where it's not been uh, a time this easy for me to get over. Like, man, and those enchiladas that I had at the Cheesecake Factory was the best enchiladas i had like i'm talking about they was killing all the mexican restaurants they just taste so fresh it's not overcooked everything was just fresh 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 oh guys so i'm about to come over here and i should have got me two cheesecakes but you know what no 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 because I'm more into my leaner meats now and I don't need all of that. <laughs> and then yesterday, like, like when I walk, it hurts more. Like I can feel it all in my tailbone, man. I'm walking really retarded right now. Like the way I walk is just retarded. I don't have a special name for it or anything like that. But it just, it messes with my ego. And I had a really good deep talk with my cousin yesterday about all about healing and stuff. And about like how like my pain has resurfaced a lot of old injuries and stuff and things that I've been through. And how it's caused me to be unbalanced. Kind of psycho. <sighs> Yeah, I've been kind of psycho, like, and then just selling my business, you know, to the point where people can really utilize it against me, but 
you know, it's just one of those things. And, and I think I've been holding so much in for so long. It's just kind of like busting out the seams. And I'm trying to work on being a, my old positive self because I'm not really a negative person. And then it was just so crazy, like, how right when my cousin wanted to talk to me about some heavy stuff, it was on my dad's heart to talk to me about some heavy stuff. And I literally been, like, at tug of war with sides, like, in between my dad and his dad's side and his mom's side, like, that is just crazy. I don't really know his dad too well. I just met his dad like last year or whatever. That's probably TMI, but it's just weird for me because I don't know how to handle that situation. You know, my grandfather died. Um, it's been three years now, you know, and I just don't really know how to handle those weird, awkward situations. So, we're going to pray on it, guys. We're going to pray on it. Oh, man. And meanwhile, I've been listening a lot to uh, Meg, Megan the Stallion. I've been bopping to her. That is my girl for real. She said, that's why every time you see me, I got on a new pair of shoes. I don't even know how the sound go for real, but I know how the sound go. You know how that go. When you don't know how the sound go, but you know how the sound go. When she, oh, it's called cash. When she about her cash, and she about this cash too. That's why every time you see her, she got on a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll get back with you in a minute. Alright, bye. Bye. That's just one ugly A scab. <sighs> we almost there. We almost there. Alright, hold on. Sorry guys, I fell asleep on you in the midst of me recording and picking out and <laughs> um, my back, it feels so, so, it's not really cramping that much. I have a doctor's appointment this morning. It's like, um, it's like six something in the morning. Yeah, so I will go like this. I will go like this. Yeah, so pretty much, um, I gotta figure out what kind of video I'm really gonna put out for you guys today. I think I'm gonna try to take this scab off and put on some lashes and try to do a um makeup tutorial because i've been promising you guys one for the longest and we like two months in since the little stroke strokey stroke and even if not even if i can't put it on Lashes, at least put on mascara. I think I'm pretty much past the um, contagious phase or whatever. 
I, um, guys, yeah, I know I look smacked when I wake up, Ay. but my daddy's girlfriend bought me the cutest little outfit, you know, it's crop top, and these shorts that come up midway, and yes, I got all this, and I still be wearing my crop tops. And I do it because as a kid, I was always told I was fat, even though I wasn't. So even when I wasn't fat, I was always body conscious, like, of my weight. So I have an insecurity complex when it comes to my weight. And the only way to beat it and defeat it is to not to to get out of my comfort zone and do things that go against it. So yeah. I wanna go get a piercing today, honestly. And I need to be scheduling a facial Of some sorts, but yeah, that is a scab. Yeah, that's a scab. It, it's weird because it looks funny. I probably just uh, go over it, but yeah. I gotta crank out these videos for y'all. I'm so sorry that I haven't really been in touch. I need to go get in the shower. I have like a 820 doctor's appointment. <laughs> yeah. Um, cause one of my pills is interacting with my other pill and I might not be on that pill anymore. Just honestly, honestly, um, it's Topamax. It's for my migraines and it's more important to me than birth control right now. It's not like. You know what I'm saying? It's that important to me because I'm 31. If I get pregnant, I'll just handle my business, take care of my babies, and stuff like that. But, yeah. But that wasn't even the reason why I was on birth control originally. Because I have dysmenorrhea. Oh, yeah, me with all these symptoms, girl, child, I'm tired of them. It's like every time I turn around. Yes, 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 yes. So, I'll probably go get me some Starbucks this morning. Don't forget that semi-annual sale. I'm about to edit this video real quick. You know, just run it together yesterday and today. Oh, and a nice, another nice little cute find. I cannot find where I did with my book bag. My little book bag purse. This lip gloss that I got in the color nude, it's just the right color lip gloss for my lips. Oh, here she go.
And this is by Black Radiance. And the color is 532. Urban New. And it's perfect. It's called Perfect Tone. And it has um, FPF 15 in it. And I don't know why. Child. Why it's not focusing. It is not focusing. But look at it on my lips, though. I go in between this one and ColourPop. Now. This is $4. And I feel like it's a nice gloss for four dollars. You know what I'm saying? It is a nice gloss for four dollars, but it's just not <laughs> color pop is so much more, it lasts so much longer. I'm just so in love with that, like, that Juicy Collection, like, it's like, literally, the drip be all over the lips. <sighs> That's it. I'm concluding this little short, little chit-chat video. Don't forget to check out that Bath and Body Works semi-annual. Go get you some of that smell good if you can wear it. I can't wear it. So what I did is I um I stocked up on candles. I got my dad some stuff. And um I got me some aromatherapy. Lavender, because lavender is good with um promoting tranquility and promotes peaceful sleep. And then I got me some peppermint, and, and it encourages, promotes uh, focus, and encourages positivity, which I need help with. And Elang Elang, I think that's how you say it. Elang Elang, I don't know. It promote encourages confidence and promotes understanding because who couldn't be more understanding? And bergamot promotes happiness and evokes vitality. And you know you just missed it on your bed, you missed it in your shower, you missed it on your yoga mats. You miss it. You put it in your ear, okay? You put it in your ear. And that's how we doing this. Because, um... Nobody wants to be a negative buddy. And then I just got me some candles. Because, you know, candles help me get in my zone. My creative zone when I am reaching out to you guys. So... Yeah, other than that, I love you guys. Peace. Oh, and I don't think I said early on in the video when I was talking about, you know, my back. And even though I got these injections that they did put numbing, but the numbing was like lidocaine. And lidocaine is like superficial numbing. 
And that means nothing when they're injecting deep in my spine. So, yeah. Hey, her lips juicy on the early side. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Peace. <laughs> Stay tuned for the video later.